Hi, I am Violent and you are very welcome to my channel. Now we will focus on ring modulation, which is a very useful technique for audio and CV as well. Let's review a few things first. In electronics, ring modulation is a signal processing function in which two signals are combined. One signal, called the carrier, is typically a sine wave or another simple waveform. The other signal is typically more complicated and is called the modulator signal. In the most basic sense, two signals are mixed and new signals are produced, made up of the sum and the difference of the original signal frequencies. Ring modulation is quite similar to amplitude modulation, with the difference that in amplitude modulation the modulator is shifted to be positive before being multiplied with the carrier, while in ring modulation the unshifted modulator is multiplied with the carrier. This has the effect that the ring modulation of two sine waves having frequencies of 100 Hz and 500 Hz will produce the sum of the inputs with frequency 1500 Hz and the difference of the inputs with frequency 500 Hz. Now let's get a look at some musical examples. In the first patch I've tuned the oscillators to be integer multiples of each other, so they are harmonically related. The second oscillator of DPO is tuned to 300 Hz and gets its volt per octave from copier machine. The first oscillator of DPO, this is at 600 Hz, goes into Modemix CV in. Modemix out goes into a VCA. The first oscillator of DLFO is at 300 Hz. The second oscillator of the DLFO at 73 Hz. The letter gets CV from Control Forge. Ring modulation output goes into another VCA. I have a clock to drive all this. The turning machine out goes into the copying machine CV in. The first output of pulses goes into a multiple and then to copying machine and to the first envelope generator. Pulses 2 plus 4 output goes into the second envelope generator. The VCAs go into TAPO. So, chord pitches are determined by the different sums of sums and diffs. If one of the input signals has significant overtones, which is in the case of saw waves, for example, the output will sound quite different, since each harmonic will generate its own pair of sidebands that may not be harmonically related. Ring modulators thus output the sum and difference of the frequencies present in each waveform. Amplitude modulation will effectively keep the original modulator signal frequencies in the output signal, while ring modulation removes the original signal frequencies and only outputs the sidebands of the carrier and modulator. Many ring modulators can be used as a VCA, but there is a significant difference between the two. VCAs are called two quadrant multipliers because they handle both positive and negative voltages in the carrier input, but only positive voltages on the modulation input. On the other hand, ring modulators are referred to as four quadrant multipliers or balanced modulators, since they can handle positive and negative voltages in both the carrier and modulator inputs.
Things get rather complex quickly when a signal other than a sine wave is used as the carrier or modulator. Now a simulator provides a Cauchy sample. It goes into the micro mode on the left side and the DLFO on the right on 105 Hz with stepped random waveform. The micro modes, ring and max outputs go into a mixer. I can play around with changing the waveform and rate on the DLFO. The term ring modulation comes from the analog circuit basic schematic that produces the effect. The circuit utilizes several diodes in the shape of a ring. Now let's look at a circular ring modulation inspired by the circuit diagram. It starts from the oscillator 1 of DLFO. The modulator is the first output of filter 8. DLFO's ring modulator output goes to Moddemix 1 CV input. The third output of filter 8 goes to signal 1 input. Out 1 goes to CV input 2. Here, signal 2 is the sixth output of filter 8. Modemix out 2 goes to the right input of the micro mode. The left input is the last output of filter 8. The micro mode ring modulator output goes to a VCA controlled by an envelope. The gate for math and control forge is light stripe. The positive out of control forge goes to the volt per octave input of the filter 8. The base frequency of filter 8 is 78 Hz. I also use a little shimmer verb. As long as there will be electronic music, there will be ring modulators too, as it is of great use in many musical environments. By the way, it is excellent for manipulating CVs as well. I would really appreciate it if you could comment what you use the ring modulator for. Finally, if you like what you have heard and seen, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel or both. Take care. It's so, so.